Hey guys, in today's video, I'll show you an end-to-end -end platform overview of every individual feature that Triggify.io has to offer. And for those of you that may not be aware about what Triggify is, it basically is a tool that's able to scrape a bunch of engagement from different websites and from different platforms like Reddit and LinkedIn mostly. And basically it scrapes all of this engagement and gives us data about what they call social signals. So who is liking whose post, who's commenting on whose post, and you can use that as sales triggers, I believe, that are symptomatic of them potentially needing your product. So for example, if someone likes a post about clay, I'll probably have to email them about my clay course, right? So that's basically what Triggerfy does. In today's video, I'll just walk you through every individual feature which you need to be aware of inside of the platform. The first feature I want to be talking to you about today is the influencers feature. And basically on the left side of the panel, as you can see over here, you can find influencers. Now, the purpose of this is just to first of all understand who are the biggest thought leaders in the market because you can then go after their audience to their audience, or you can just figure out who you need to engage with on LinkedIn in order to blow up and get a bunch more visibility of your profile. So in this case, let's say if we're looking for keywords like ABM, so account-based marketing, and we increase this keyword mentioned to three times in the last 30 days or four times in the last 30 days, we probably will have a pretty good hit list of the top 10 people or so that are talking about um, ABM and who have posted a ridiculous amount of time about ABM, right? If we want to decrease that to two or three times, we'll also get quite a few search results here. And what we can then do after we understand who all of these people are, we can select some of those people and then just save them to a list. And this list can then serve as a hit list of people whose audience we would want to go after in the later steps of this tutorial as well. You can also filter for other things like job titles. So, so if you want to make sure that you, that you only look at influencers that are founders or what CEOs or whatever, you can put that here, locations, industries, company domains, you can copy and paste as well. And the number of followers, which is really important, especially let's say if you are like a sales platform or something of that sort, and you're looking to bring on partners on board and you want to basically just pay for some influencers, you probably want to make sure that they have a sufficient following in order to uh, you know, be able to get reach for your specific tool. Um, so that's a high level overview of just the first feature, which is the influencers part. Now, the second part is the keyword engagement part inside of Triggerfy. And once again, super self-explanatory, you have the keyword engagement section on the left side of the panel. Here, you're going to find people that have engaged with a specific keyword. So for instance, if I'm going to go for a keyword like clay, I can see anyone that's engaged with clay in the last 30 days. And let's just see anyone that's engaged more than twice. Um, and maybe, well, yeah, so we can see there are over 5,000 people that in, uh, that's engaged with clay more than once in the last 30 days alone. You can then filter for job titles. If you want to just sell to and pitch to sales teams, you can do that. If you just want to sell to either operations teams, you can filter for that as well. Once again, this basically just means that someone has engaged with a specific keyword. So in this case, I'll just give you the most boring example. Let's say someone engages with a, with a post about Zoom info, they're clearly aware that email finders exist and then you can go and um, you know pitch them a cheaper email finder or something of that sort. Now, once again, this is very much like a lead gen bro kind of logic. I'm not expecting you, like this is not an educational video about how to actually do outbound. It's more of a video of how to use the platform. And this is basically the feature of keyword engagement. All you would do is just look for a specific keyword, look for all the people that interacted with it. You will then save a bunch of people to a list and then you can go after that list in the later steps of this video as well. The next feature I'll be talking about is the social listening feature, or at the very least previously it was called social listening. You can ignore the gibberish on the left-hand side here because that's just some crappy AI generated image. But in the meantime, I'll just sh show it to you over here. So once again, on the left side of the panel, you'll be called listening over here. And you have a selection of three options. You can either look for a mention of all the keywords. So for example, let's say I want someone that mentions clay and someone that mentions outbound, for instance. Right, and this is going to give me every single post that mentions both clay and outbound. Or over here, you can have any post that mentions at least one of these keywords. So let's say like work life balance, balance. I don't know how good this will be, but you can see 2,400 posts almost on um, you know the exact keywords of people talking about work life balance. And this is when we can go after them and just offer them some incentives marketplace or you know something similar like i had a client that sold this before and for them this was like symptomatic of someone needing their uh you know they're like nice to have um marketplace thing with like extra 
incentives for their like workforce or whatever but yeah you get the idea so essentially here you can also filter for the specific place where you want to be scanning for these keywords it could be either the business network youtube or reddit and more than that you can also have like the sentiment so was there comments or whatever like well like was the post positive or negative or neutral because once again this could be useful and you know assuming you find it after that i guess you can click on three dots and view the post you can translate it as well i'm not actually sure what to do with this feature um i mean well you do have webhooks set up over here as well bear in mind so if you click on webhooks you can then automatically webhook it in one of these platforms so for instance you can just connect it to slack and be notified every time that there is a post about this like work-life balance thing or whatever or whatever else we're going to be talking about and then same thing for clay you can send this data into clay to be interpreted all of this fun stuff i'll be talking about a bit more uh, later on in the video as well all right since we already started talking about web hooks let's talk about how to connect triggerify to clay so super simply where if we're in the integration section of the platform all you need to do is look out for the clay logo click on manage integration and straight away over here you have a bunch of different options and once again if you're looking for profile engagement you will have to connect it this way if you're looking for list connections and you want to automatically push a specific list or future lists into, into Clay, all you need to do is just click on add endpoints and then copy and paste the webhook URL from Clay. Now, the way that you'll do it inside of Clay, if I just show you quickly as well, fun fact for you, I'm not sure you can see my screen now, but if you type in clay.new, it'll create a new Clay table for you. Yeah, just a little life hack for any of those of you that want to impress someone with this. And then basically all you need to do is just click on actions, import, type in webhook, inside of clay click on the webhook and then you will have this this webhook that's fully ready for you and basically we'll just copy and paste the endpoint here and then you can just give it a quick description of like what we're putting in here so like every time someone likes my post my post we send it to clay right and then same thing here you can then subscribe to a specific event so for example as soon as there is a list result created it will automatically basically as soon as there is a new item in a specific list it'll automatically be sent to a clay table um, and then that's basically it and this is how you'd go about using this and then make sure to click create because otherwise this wouldn't work and yeah that's that so next look at the next feature and the next feature is how to use triggerify inside of clay which once again is quite intuitive but the way we'll basically do it is we'll click on add and basically what i mean by this is we'll create a new clay table right so we'll click on add over here we'll type in triggerify and then the only option we really have inside of trigger out of clay right now is to find prospects engaging with professional posts using triggerify let's click on that if you want to add your own Clay account, so your own Triggerify account here, you'll need to click on add account. You'll basically copy and paste your API key, which you can get directly from Triggerify from the settings there. Give it a quick connection. In the meantime, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use the Triggerify account here. And then next up, once again, similar stuff to, uh, to what we already talked about. All you need to do is just type in the post keywords because the only functionality that basically Triggerify offers inside of Clay is to be able to find people that engage with a specific professional post, right? So the post keywords could be, let's say like ABM again, number of days since engagement. Once again, it's in the last 30 days, prospect job titles. Let's just make sure it's like marketing um, and then company domains we don't really care about, prospect industries we don't really care about and none of this stuff is important. So let's say we just want to see five results and then that's basically it. And then let's click on submit. So this way we'll be able to, inside, of, inside of Clay to pull in all the data of people that are engaging with ABM as a keyword, and then the people that are engaging with it are in marketing job titles. Straight away, this pulls up a couple of people. So it says prospect found. We're gonna see the prospect. Let's just click on their URL. Voila, we get redirected. Hopefully they are a marketing person. VP of marketing, absolutely perfect. Wow, absolutely made my day this quick demo. And of course, if you liked this video and if you want me to record a bunch of other stuff about how to use other fancy sales tools like Triggerify, make sure to subscribe to this channel, make sure to like it, comment something super nice. And above all, this is actually a big reason for me wanting to record this video. If you want to get 20% off forever on Triggerify, like every single month you can get 20% off. All you need to do is just use my code, Tim20 at checkout. Um, and yeah, no shame there. Um, I've got, I had this affiliate code for a while for the Unlock Clay course. And to be honest, I think there are like two or three people that only used it up to this point. So please don't let me down. If you do uh, get a discount with Triggerify, just type in the code and yeah hopefully if you made it this far you would know how to actually use triggerify by this point as well anyways if you enjoyed this make sure to subscribe to the channel i'll be back later on most likely next week with another video all the best in the meantime cheers